done. You belong in here with the rest of these computer parasites. You never could get away with this. I'll be back. You'll see. When most people think of IT, they think of the department that fixes broken technology or protects your computers against bugs, alienware, and hackers like these. Click on the target, win a free vacation. Click on the target, win a free vacation. He'll never learn. But we're more than just a security service and a repair shop. IT is also your business partner. We support all the administrative, student, and academic functions here at Daytona State College. We keep six campuses up and running day and night, which probably explains the dress code in this office. Before we go any further, I'll let you in on a little secret. There's actual humans, actual humans, working behind these doors. Enjoy, guys. They're not aliens, as some may have speculated, although they may speak a little funny. Hey, Steve. How's the network look? How's it going, Dave? I've noticed there's a little bit of latency on the WAN links, but the CPU utilization on the flux capacitor of the core switches appears to be well within tolerance. Okay, so what Steven was trying to say is the network is up and fully functional, which, if you haven't noticed, is a good thing. When we're doing our jobs, it's like we're not even there. Steve. Steve? It's crazy how he does that. Your first encounter with IT is likely to be through the help desk where an actual real person will take your call. Many people wonder why do you have to give your college ID to an agent before speaking with them? That is an excellent question. Let's give the help desk a call. IT help desk, this is Judith. Can I help you? Hey Judith, it's Dave. We're doing an IT info video and the audience was wondering why they need to enter their college ID before they speak with an agent. That's a great question, Dave. In IT, we have many different areas of expertise, and then the college ID will help us route the customer to the person who can best help them. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, for example, if there is an issue in the classroom with the learning management system, the call will be routed to the academic support center. Ah, oh, gotcha. Thanks for the information, youth. Anything else I can help you with? Actually, yeah, there is. What is that amazing smell? It's still yucky, Dave. Would you like some? It's delicious. Absolutely. Another IT function is to thoroughly test new technologies before deploying them to the college community, such as interactive projectors, wireless display devices, and tablet computers. Let's see what the team is working on today. Hey Mark, how's it going? Uh-oh. Well, we may have to keep working on that. Looks like something else is cooking over here. Let's check in on them. You may have heard of the Partnership, Awareness, Communication, and Training Team, or PACT or the RISE team, Resources Implemented for Student Engagement. Well, you may think it's easy coming up with all those cool acronyms. Believe me, it's not. That's why we've created the Falcon Phrase Initiators, or the FPI. Let's check in on the team hard at work. All right, what do we have here? Operational Online Portal System. Oops. No thank you, Elisa. Right, next one we got Sub Network Access for Undergrad snafu. No, John. All right, finally, here we go. Falcon Academic Research Technology. Really, Andrew? <laughs> well, it looks like they'll keep working on cooking up just the right acronym. In the meantime, TTYL. Excuse me. Okay, understood. It appears that I may have shared a little too much information with you, so if you would be so kind as to do me a favor and look right here for me. 